Oh. Hello? <laughs> so... Uh... Okay. Are there any... Ah, uh, I love you more. Here's a little bum hole. Stick my lovely cocky. <laughs> well, so... so... Hello and welcome. We are playing Canarium. Canarium! Uh, we, we both quite like our sort of, you know, Lovecrafty type stuff. Spooky shit. A bit of spookums, and we're here to give it a go. Cosmic horror. All life is only a set of pictures in oh. the brain, among which there is no difference betwixt those born of real things and those born of inward dreaming. Inward dreaming. Sounds very English, H.P. Lovecraft. Oh, hello! <laughs> Well, he's, from, he's from New England. Hello! I'm H.P. Lovecraft. Oh, hello, H.P. Lovecraft. How are you doing? Very good. Congratulations on buying my game. <laughs> Thank you for buying my game. <laughs> oh, are we underwater? <laughs> oh. You can tell we're underwater by the like ripples. This is a fucking dream sequence. I'm calling it right now. Oh. Yeah. You think? You th you, do you really think this is a dream well, and I think not the, actually? The, the quote at the start. Oh. Whoa. Uh. No more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores, for there are things that cannot be undone. Uh, friend? Is everything all right? Dr. Oh, Dr. Faust. Dr. Faust. Why is he called Dr. Faust? Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. His face wasn't so good. And it was all a dream. Ooh. Oh. Oh! Hello. Man, this game's got nice graphics, huh? Uh, oh, oh, shit. Oh, my head. Ah, the pain. It is unbearable. Do, do we... Can we turn it off? Whatever that thing is? Oh. is oh, it's fine. I thought my head was about to explode. Oh, my God. Oh. So it's just a, a torch? Projector? Ooh. Oh, wait, it doesn't really work. Oh, oh, it, the light does, it does make me sort of like flinch at the light a bit. <laughs> <laughs> like a vampire or a cat. It's, it's a vampire torch. It's a vampire cat. Um, man, just maybe this it's just really average graphics. But coming into this after being through Silvio, where every environment was just like a room with a single chair. And everything was really like, grainy and dirty. I mean, oh, oh my God! Well, that's a lot of text. So we've got it in script, and we've got it in oh. readable. Okay. Observation notes of the fourth initiation session. So it's also 1949. Ah, 1949, the boom in 40s. Nothing bad's going on right now. I mean, you know, there's a war has just happened. But there's a lot of rationing in force. If, but are we in America? They're, um, not, they're not so worried about that stuff at the moment. It's fine. Boom. Q. 5,000 comments arguing. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, yeah, like millennials with no shit about what happened in 1949. <coughs> All the participants consumed the diversa mixture five minutes ago. And they have all entered some kind of altered state of consciousness. Oh, it's like LSD or something. All of them now vaguely mumbling in their sleep, like they're chanting something. But the sounds are not conscious. They seem restless. I detect movements in their limbs, and, as always, I wonder if it's because of something they're actually seeing beyond. Dot, dot, dot. 7.15. As always, the device is humming and glowing, but this time the atmosphere is different to the previous sessions. Whatever the reason for this might be, it feels almost like that fantastic device is signalling something in a code I don't recognise. It is becoming more and more stressful to be here alone. In the midst of this cold, dim, incense-filled room. So they've got incense, as well as a weird machine, as well as giving yeah. everyone this weird... Yeah, you need, you need a bit of incense, <coughs> going, to be a bit, like, spooky. 7.19pm. 
It sounds to me like the intensity of the subject's mumbling is much stronger now. Colours and shades are dancing on the walls with the rhythmic ins and outs of the device. I can hear the wind howling outside. Maybe a snowstorm is approaching. Or something even worse. Even worse than a snowstorm? Like a blizzard? Like a blizzard, yes. That'd be bad. 7.24. Exactly five minutes and three seconds have passed now. They have drifted beyond my area of expertise and guidance. I cannot do anything further except wish for their safe return. So there's a strange mixture of, like, psychedelic stuff of real science yeah what's it called incense as well where is the incense i guess in these like little bowls or maybe maybe that's like the mixture but this is where everyone was like sleeping but that no one's there yeah they're all gone now all gone this device its noises are resonating in my mind they resonate in my mind hmm most perplexing <laughs> The upa, upa okay. out. There's a lot of U's in that word. Yeah, too many U's. Upa out. Upa out. Upa nice out. Case. Nice logo. Good quality bindings. Oh, it's very, turn the torch off. Oh, oh turn, turn it back on. <laughs> there we go. Oh, uh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I value this as its uh, original seven ninety nine. Thank you for bringing this on to Tom's Antique Book Roadshow. I mean, it's... How much could I expect to insure it for? Hmm. I, I think be safe and... Double insure it. Insure it for a, it. <laughs> a solid eight pounds. Oh! Right, we'll just, we'll just put, it, put it there. Oh, my God. So that's the same quite, place. Quite glary. Up or out. Antarctic. So oh, okay. I'm in Antarctica. Oh, shit. Okay. Um... Or Nightshade and Beyond. Three times Corley Raid something out. Zorath something blurred out. Seeds. That's the machine, I guess. Sat Sahati plant. Sati plant. So are these supposedly... I mean, they can't be plants in Antarctica. There's, there's barely any plants or like life at all in Antarctica. <laughs> Oh, hello, little starfish. Mm. It's a starfish <laughs> sitting on the door. <laughs> oh, shit. Be careful with yeah, fucking I'm, doors, I'm worried Tom. it's going to, like, kick me out. Hello? Oh. Anybody here? Is that a dog? Where is everybody? They're not, they're not going to have, like, a big spook on this <clears> yet. <throat> if, if suddenly you could pick up, like, medicine and bandages, this would scare me so much more. But no, apparently not. Good time. Cold, cold and flu medicine. Some things, some little flasks. Probably don't need that stuff. It's pro probably like laudanum. Laudanum? Yeah. Wait, do they, are they still using laudanum in the 40s? Probably. Everything looks good. I'm betting we have to come back here at oh, some point. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Auxiliary power needs to be enabled manually from outside. Okay, that's useful to know. Shit. I was running. Oh. Oh, God, is this outside? I guess so. I hope we're wearing clothes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, we don't even have legs. Ah! Hover, boy. Well, this is pretty... Uh... Pretty snowy. Okay, right. Where are we going? Can you jump? Oh. Oh, shit. Um... No. That is really fucking weird. Strange device was already on my left arm when I came around inside the meeting room of the Upuel. Up we need to agree on how we're going to pronounce that. Upuel. Upuel. Is the air? Upuel. Upuel. Uh, Antarctic base. Um, shit, that fucking help guide went. Uh, it comes with no surprise. I don't really remember anything about it. It's not surprising at all. Oh, it's a bit like the thing or something, isn't it? No, oh, don't say that. Don't thing me, bro. Oh. Is that giant load of rocks supposed to just be in the middle of... I assume so. Oh, this does not feel safe. Yeah, I don't really have any other options. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. He called it. I'm so sorry. We, we're going back. 
What is this way? I mean, like, can't really run in the snow. No, I mean, you don't have legs, so you can't run, can you? I can't, like, hover faster. Oh, okay, right, there's, like, the little flags. They'll take us to probably where we want to go. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Oh. The of the Upu Upuata. After that, nothing is clear in my mind. He said it. Is this where we came from? We didn't come from here. Nope. <clears throat> oh, oh, it's my breath. <clears throat> Did we just turn off the power to the I other? Don't, I don't know. I saw a switch <clears throat> and I flicked it. What are you like? Oh shit, if we have to fight Jaws later, we can use that. Oh, oh that's cool. <laughs> um. Oh! Some duct tape! Nice. More like duct take. Oh, hello. Hello. Okay. Oh fuck, do we have to find fuel? We're gonna yeah. have to find fuel. Oh. Oh, you duct taped it. Tank is empty. Of course it is. Oh. Well, that was lucky. Okay. Ah, we're, we're fucking amazing at this game. Sorry, just. Oh. Oh. That's better. That didn't sound like a lot of fuel. Close enough. Safety first. Um. Wait, we could go through there, couldn't we? Nope. Locked. Nope. Okay. The switch has got flicked back. There we go. And now they're green, and green is good. Green is good. Green is good. These ebonies are good. So we've got a bit more lights on. Oh. S oh, and Chiefs. Sparky. Easy, Sparky. Wow, it's totally different. Um... I see we're going back. I didn't even realise that a bunch of the power was like off. Yeah. I just assumed it was dark and miserable because this is like a horror game. Yeah. But actually, is that a helipad? It looks a bit small, <laughs> like a really little helipad. Also, 1949. I, uh... You might have like um. Do they have gyrocopters? At that stage. Maybe. Who knows? I feel I like remember that's... helicopters being in Mash. And that was the Korean War. Oh, yeah. Which was the 1950s? Oh, yeah, fuck it. I don't think you have. Uh, so what did we need power for? Uh, did Indiana Jones have helicopters? <laughs> I don't think so. Planes. <laughs> all, all my knowledge of history is from... Movies. Movies. Oh, oh, you... Attention, for the crew members are having sleeping problems. Examination conducted regarding the increase of incidents recently happening led me to believe the reason behind some of those uh, intense cabin fever. Oh shit, cabin fever is really bad actually. Yeah, so uh, insomnia, which is why they can't sleep, strong headaches, seeing visions and hearing voices. Yeah. Uh, they have to talk to him personally. If it's a problem. It's funny because I bet you those are all exactly the same symptoms that people would experience from fucking around with uh, whatever weird uh, shit they were doing in that room. Oh, for expected snowstorm next few weeks. Oh, for two weeks. <laughs> uh, utmost importance to take all cautionary measures. Man. So did everyone else go outside except... I don't... I don't know. So... What, are we, what? Why were we doing that? Oh, dude! There was a spooky boy. What was that? What was that? Oh, my head. I assume <clears throat> follow. Follow the spooky boy. I hear like a little. Yeah, I can hear. Thunking and a dunking. Like he's having a party time. Oh, fuck me. Oh. No, no creepy music. It's locked. It's locked. Oh. 
Oh. If his coat is just right here, where is he now? I didn't like that noise. Oh. Nikolai Gogol. Just a the bit portrait. of light reading. The it's backwards. It's backwards, yeah. True insanity. Ned Well. Are we Ned Well? Oh! Useful. Okay. Oh my god, it's got a Morse code thing written on it as well. Oh, really? Luck. What the fuck are they? Uh <laughs> What is that weird noise? <laughs> Does the like the little like string instrument sting? Oh, I didn't like it. Just right here. <laughs> that was so dumb. Man, it takes so long to get all of those things in there and like close <laughs> the door. Oh. Uh, okay. So we're looking for. Oh, can you talk? Oh, it's another woody boy. <laughs> Whoa, it's for little wooden boys. Hello? Oh man, these are quite nice bedrooms. They are, aren't they? I like the the sort of decor. Mm. Do you reckon you could get into working on like a Super Spookums Arctic base? Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? I have no idea. Okay, look, you've got these. Oh, we're we trying to get it into like a straight beam. Uh, so that gets it further apart. Okay, so that's just the frequency, and that just what the speed. I feel I feel like we need we need more information. Oh. Oh, you need to do the right frequency to open up whatever the, that is. Can we just fucking smash it with that thing? <laughs> I don't think so. I think it's more of a puzzle. You're not supposed to just smash something. Are there any notes anywhere? Um, hidden plants. Hidden uh, plants of great antiquity. Oh, that's quite a cool sounding book. Ooh, that was really aggressively open. I was waiting for wooden boys to just <laughs> go spilling out. But Scientifically, the pioneer gland, also known as the pioneer body, the carnarium. Boom, it's oh! a name. The epiphysis cerebri is a small endocrine gland of the vertebrate brain. Oh, fuck me. Okay, right. It's it's a bunch of bunch of brain stuff. A bunch of brain stuff. Oh, we took it. You oh, did it's it. a trophy item. So maybe not even. A real thing. What? Are there any... I'm sure there were some notes on the board up there. Right? What the fuck? <coughs> Generated voice is outputted by speakers. Are these the little dolls? So that's what is in the thing. Oh, in maybe. the thing is a fucking head. <coughs> uh, incoming power needs to be regulated by the device loop. Is, is it, it really possible to feed the machine with an actual human brain? Ancient sources speak too secretive about this. Based on the writings of R. Bacon and Wolfgang von Kempelen, I will try to improve the machine. Okay. Let's regulate the power. Sure. It looks just like I I shit. Oh fuck. Uh, <clears throat> Cyclopean city. <coughs> Mountains of Madness. Oh. Yeah, stay away from those. After our haphazard and momentary aerial exploration of the unhallowed, utterly alien, cyclopean maze of squared, curved, and angular blocks, 
we can detect most of the locations revealed by the previous Miskatonic University expedition leader, Professor Emeritus William Dreyer. But what we're looking for is not there. Inside, that Shoggoth haunted the ruins. So According- they know about Shoggoths. Yeah. And According to various sources, there must be much older ruined part beyond the older city, right at the skirts of the mountains, beyond the Mountains of Madness. It was built over the location, deeply shunned even by the Elder Things. Oh, and built Jesus. long before the colossal city, Dr. Dye and his team explored. Oh, my. Now we set foot upon the lands no one has ever seen before, a vast bulk of dry land around the South Pole which has risen from the primal waters when the old ones seep down from the stars. Such... such evil place most of the arcane sources evil. hesitate to record at all while some murals within the Elder City approached it with obvious repugnance and trepidation. So, um, the Mount of Madness is North Pole, and so we're in the South Pole. Oh, fuck me, that no, the mountains are managed in, in Antarctica. Yes. We'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I knew we were close to what we've been looking for. During the adaptation sessions we hold here in the meeting room, I feel guidance of some sort, something pointing me towards the, des- the destination we seek. It could mean that we are now in seek- sync with the ancient source. The wearable canarium we're carrying on our left <gasps> arms connects and thus receives sensations from the same ancient source. And sometimes I wonder whether there's ever been another soul during humanity's relatively brief period of existence who has been able to achieve such a feat. Within s- some shunned and elusive sources I have gathered from around the world, it is said that the extraterrestrial species, the Elder Thing race, built it after passing through a stage of mechanized life on other planets. But its purpose remains unclear. So we've made mechanical pineal glands that are attached to a glove, which allow us to get in tune with this place. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I have, I have we no don't know what idea. we're doing here, do we? No idea at all. What? Have we got to do this? I don't. I don't know. There's other places for us to explore. So all we... right. Should we ignore the weird robot head for now? Yeah. I mean, we're just assuming that's what's in there. Oh, James Barlow. Wooden boy. Hey, wooden boy. Okay. Right. Turns out. Oh. Did I lock my door? I don't remember where my keys are. Oh, I guess that's us. Gilman. Did I lock my door? He, he was the character from Sh- uh, Shadows Over Innsmouth. Yeah? Uh, Shadow Over Innsmouth. <coughs> Gilman, do you get it? Gilman. Because Gil. the Fish Boys. Fish Boys. That was the name of their gang, the Fish Boys. Oh, is that the toilet? No, it's a bowl, I think. <laughs> What an interesting figurine. That's cute. Okay, it's stuck to have one of these rooms. Yeah, they're not as nice, are they? Did we have a nice room? I guess we did. I think so. Because these don't even have names on the doors. No, these are just for scrubs. I don't want no scrub. Oh, that doesn't look good. It's got blood on it. (laughs) The nightmares have become unbearable. I see the same man in my nocturnal visions, but now he's holding something in his hand, which I believe to be a lotus flower. We seem to be continuing this grave and serious conversation again and again, but I still can't remember the contents. During working hours sometimes, I hear his voice through the radio. It's not in the form of any meaningful sentences, but like some unconscious mutterings. I'm afraid to tell anyone about this, for I hate the very idea of the suspension I'll probably be facing. Oh, God. Why was there, like, blood over his fucking journal? I mean, that can't be good, can it? Oh! Oh! Is there anything on the back? looks a bit like um, Richard Hammond. Oh, a little bit. Richard the Hamster Hammond. 
Oh. That's weird. What? The stand, which clearly looks like it would be made of metal, is made out of... has like a wood texture on it. Yeah. I think it's faux... faux wood texture. Interesting. These truly are mad, arcane (laughs) vibes. It's not the same button. (laughs) Well, I like that there's just like the standard picture frame that they give to everyone. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're issued with several 12 by 10 inch picture frames. You may bring <laughs> pictures and put them in. The weird thing is that no one brought the pictures. They were just put there in oh. the room. Pictures of little boys. Oh. Oh. Johan de Witt. But, um, I really thought those were hands for a second. They are gloves. Are they with pineal glands on? I don't think so. I think we're okay. Conariums. 